All right, team, we're here with some more Super Auto Pets. Let's get in there. Ooh, not the best start. Let's go Mosquito Bluebird. Double Mosquito. That could work for us. Let's be Chunky Muffins. All right, another mosquito that's big. Let's go fish here and throw an apple on our mosquito. Not bad. All right, we got two wins early on. That's a good sign. Let's combine our mosquitoes. Sheep. Not what I wanted to see there, but it is decent enough to keep for like two turns max. We could hedgehog. It would kill our sheep, but it would summon the two rams. It would kill our bluebird. Yeah, we're not going to hedgehog here. Let's do that. And what are we going to keep here? We're going to keep the mosquito, and if we're keeping a bluebird, let's put a little bit of meat on it. That's fair. Sheep in the back. That's pretty strong. All right. Get a mosquito. We would put our sheep in the back, but I'd rather not get the bluebird buffs, to be honest. Because I'm not keeping it. That's pretty good. Let's do that for now, since this turn we don't, and next turn's level 5 anyway, so we'll get that benefit. That snipe was huge. It allowed our bluebird to kill off that one. Take a tie. Alright, let's get the bluebird. Skunk. Skunk's not bad. We're going crazy here. Okay, there is a puppy. We had a request for a puppy build, so I'd like to work on that one if possible. We're not going to get it this turn, though. We'll get it next turn. Turn 6, pretty late for a puppy. But if we find other puppies quick, we could make it work. If not, this probably won't be the round for it. Good snipe on the flamingo. That garlic armor is going to destroy us, but that's fine because we died. Alright. So. Let's put that up front. Combine the sheep. Get a puppy. Get another mosquito. And turn, get the puppy buff. An 11 4 spider. I guess it did beat me, so I shouldn't say anything bad about it. Alright, sheep is probably going to go next. Although, garlic armor is kind of important right now. Let's 
We're not going to do the hatching chick. One health, that's unfortunate, but we still, we win by one health, so not bad. Up to three wins. Double Llama, though. Can we make that work? I do not condone my actions here, but hear me out. We're actually going double llama. And puppy. Buffalo too, though. We could just go cheese fest. Buffalo, two llamas, and a puppy? I'm going to think on that one. I hope we don't lose this one, because that'll put us on lethal, but I'd really like to see how well a f completely four-squad scaling works. Yeah, this is scary. Yeah, that skunk hit was a big issue there, but... Tie! Okay, there we go. Perfect. Alright, we will definitely get level two puppy. We'd have to get rid of Mosquito to make Buffalo work, unless we combined Llamas, but it'd kind of be fun to just mess around and get two Llamas going. Alright, what we're going to do is we are going to pair, freeze the cow, let's roll with that. Yeah, this mosquito probably should go. I'm just a little worried because it's our only thing with garlic. If I get garlic for the puppy, I can sell the mosquito and not have a worry. Another four squad, which is good for us, except for how... Okay, his llama was a lot bigger. Let's go with that. Sell. Get a sushi. Get a cow, sell the cow, so we're at three gold for the puppy, and then we'll play milk on the puppy. Let's just hope we don't see a skunk on this one. That's a scary buffalo for sure. Yep, that's game. Once again, got greedy. That's fine, though. Sometimes you gotta try rolling a two-squad llama. We're gonna do that. Not a great start, but let's be the unintended presidents. Sometimes it just falls on you and you weren't thinking it was gonna. Sniped the bluebird. That was huge. Very lucky there. Let's do that. I'm bummed that last run didn't work out. Two llamas and a level two puppy. I had a lot of potential. But greed will get you. Alright, let's combine for a level 2 weighty bug. Rabbit is a great find right there. Let's put the weighty bug up front. Let's actually put honey on the rabbit.
That worked out very well for us. Okay, let's see. Combine the mosquitoes. Puffer fish. Not the best. Although with the rabbit, it could do decent for us on the mid game. Let's throw an apple on it just to kind of help it out a little bit. Another apple, nah. All right, let's try that. Okay, this run's going well. We're undefeated, we got four wins. Another rabbit, this fish has got to go. We're probably going to buy these, but we want to see a salad, which we did not see a salad. Hopefully next turn we see a salad. Or two salads. That is a big drum day. Yep, they went... That is unfortunate. Yeah, they went the... Turtle something hatching chick sandwich, which it's hard to go against. Okay. That's not terrible. Probably shouldn't be putting this much into a puffer fish, but we'll see. Well, yeah, that worked out well for us. All right. Five wins. Let's combine our rabbits. Rhino. See if we can get a rhino off the ground this time. Salads, there we go. We have a very health oriented team. We need to figure out some kind of scaling for damage. Yep, that's the issue right there. Do not have enough damage. This mosquito is probably... Yeah, we didn't find the last mosquito, but we're going to do that. Let's see if we hit it with the... I did not buy the snail. Double pair, okay. Let's do something like this, see if this works for this run. Oh, this is a sloppy build. Yep, that's fair. All right, let's see. Another worm. Let's go like that, I guess. See if that'll work. It's a big ladybug. All right, we'll take a draw here. All right, this ladybug is just not doing anything for us. And honestly, the puffer fish isn't either. Let's do that. 
And then, do we want a eagle instead of a pufferfish? It's 512 already, which... I mean, there's another one, but... Yeah, not worth it. Let's do that. Okay, that's pretty big. That's a good roll. There's still a little hope in this run. Not bad. Alright, we're up to six wins. Mushroom on the mammoth would work pretty well here. Or on the eagle, to be honest. There we go. Alright. Let's put, let's actually roll one, see what we get here. All right, we are going to pill the, no, because there's really nothing we want. Could go dragon, tiger behind, eagle's not bad. All right, let's pill the mammoth. Throw a tiger. We'll put this rabbit up front, just as a melon blocker, pretty much. And let's do that. Kind of a goofy build. Chili would be better than honey, since it's now in the front. Rhino worked very well right there. It's good that we're hitting that worm. Okay, let's roll with that. See, with the tiger, we get quite a bit of summons out of that. But still was not enough. That's the end of the line there. Let's give it one more go. See if we can get a win here. Double pig. Honestly, rather not. And let's be the iconic rodents. Not a bad start. Okay. Honestly, not bad. Not bad at all. Put the fish in the back then. Put honey on the fish. Alright, that's a shame. Alright, let's level up the fish. Owl. Owl's not terrible stats-wise. Let's throw it in there. And then when we sell it, we'll get the buff, so it's not bad to just have for a couple turns.
I have noticed every time I take bluebirds, I end up putting my best pet in the back because it's something I plan on keeping, which actually makes me lose more early game. I think that's something I need to start taking into account and try to work on how I'm positioning my pets when I do bluebird builds. I just don't feel great about any of these right now. Peacock could work, but honestly, we might just take... Let's actually do something like this. Put meat on the... No, Bluebird's probably not going to stay. Let's do this. Ugh. Don't feel great about this run. Fair. Alright, it's turn five, so a caterpillar's not terrible. Let's pill the ant. Hopefully don't hit the owl. Good. Get the caterpillar. Roll. There is a puppy. Which we could make work. We're gonna try it again. Puppy's rough, because if you start if you start building up a puppy, you're using a lot of gold, but honestly it's not really worth the plus two plus two giving up three gold. If you can get a level two puppy, it's definitely worth it. Oh, that was bad. All right, bluebird's gone. We're gonna put fish up here. Put a rooster in back. That's what we want to see. Okay, there's some hope here. Let's do that. Rooster came in handy there. We're up to three wins. Alright, we got double fish. We really want to... Let's get garlic on the puppy. Roll once. Really hoping for a puppy. Did not see it. We could get a buffalo. The question is, do we have things that are... I mean, we'd get rid of probably these two, the fish and the beetle, to make a buffalo work. Question, question is, are these worth staying? Now, when we get the fish to level 3, then no, it's probably not worth staying. But for the meantime, let's roll with it. Let's see what we get off of the level 3 fish, because if we just freeze a buffalo, we already have two in the shop frozen already. Alright, the fact that the bat took away our meat was really problematic there. But we still win this because of our rooster. Four wins. Goat does not help us. Turtle wouldn't be terrible. and turn there. Probably get rid of our fish now. We got the buff on our team. This is problematic. This is decently scaled team. They got a poodle, poodle very early. But still worked out for us. That's five wins. Okay. This could be the run. All right. So these two, the fish definitely has to go. Let's get the turtle in there, pill the turtle. 
and then get a bore in there. We'll actually go like this so that if they have a deer in slot one, the splash does not hit the melon armor of our puppy. Our scaling is going to be pretty good now, so our butterfly should be able to work with that very well. Okay, our melon armor has gone anyway because they're running hedgehog. Not ideal. But it worked. Six wins. Let's go puppy. Garlic. Eagle would definitely be better than beetle. Eagle would also be better than rooster. That was rough. All right, so that puts us on lethal. Beetle, I think you gotta go. Three, six, four, that's a five. So Poodle could work here. Probably go like this with a poodle here so that the buff does not hit the caterpillar, it hits the puppy instead. Which takes away our eagle dreams, but that's okay. Get a stake on the poodle. And let's actually chocolate the poodle, because we really need that scaling to work on all of our people. It doesn't matter if the caterpillar gets um, scaling from the poodle. That's why we put it to the right of the puppy, because we want the puppy to get it. Because when it transforms, it loses any scaling it would have received anyway. So it doesn't matter. All right, so this could work. We really want to see another poodle. Show us a poodle. No poodle. Chocolate will work. Let's do that. Let's get a rooster. Three owls, look at that. Okay, that's some decent scaling now. Beautiful, that's eight wins. Okay, let's get a level two rooster. So now that is now it summons two chicks, which is going to help if they get to our back line. So far, we've been very lucky in that they have not gotten to our back line yet. That is not bad. We're actually going to try level 3 Poodle instead of level 3 Rooster. I lied. Let's lock down both. Because if we roll into one or the other, we'll know for certain we can get a level 3 version of it. <sighs> this boar isn't really doing great for us. Although it'll kill this gorilla because of its plus 2 plus 2. Not bad. 9 wins. Let's cross this finish line. All right, let's, we are gonna chocolate the, we'll go rooster. Just in case we tie, we'll be ready for a level three poodle. It's a little scary, but our caterpillar is now a 45-45. There we go. 
All right. And that is a turn 14 win with the level 2 rooster, level 2 poodle, almost level 3, level 2 puppy, level 3 butterfly, caterpillar, and a level 1 boar. That boar could have definitely been something a little better. Um, maybe a T-Rex. T-Rex honestly pairs well with puppy because, you know, you keep 3 gold around for either or. So ideally, if that was a T-Rex, our scaling would have been insane. But yeah. So that's a puppy build. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!